Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Yale number 1161G. This is a cam that's going to be used on the 1194 cylinder and some other cylinders. But Yale lists this particular um, cam as compatible with key switches. Um, I've not run in I've not seen every key switch in the world that's to be sure but I've not run into a key switch that states use the Yale 1161G cam they obviously exist um, but I can tell you that you've got key switches that allow double pull double throw operation where you are literally turning the key from zero you know close to well, well past 90 and then the other way to engage or disengage the features of the key switch. And I've used the standard cam for that, and I've always said to myself as I'm operating the key switch, the standard cam doesn't seem right for that. It's too blunt, it's too wide, and it doesn't have an angle on it like this does where it curves back out so that when it rotates, it's got that point making greater immediate contact with a switch that you're trying to, to depress. Um, so while I can't tell you what key switch to look for, I can sure tell you what this looks looks like. Okay, A couple of basic dimensional properties, and then we'll take a look at the cut sheet. The The top of the prep where it will sit on the back of the cylinder plug to the tip is about 0.541 inch. About. Okay, about, you know, depending on where you measure it, and I'm measuring it a little bit on an angle, it's going to be about a half of an inch, something, let's just figure a half inch. The overall height of that prep where it'll sit on the back of the plug is 0.513 inch so it's basically about three quarter inch from the center line to the tip of that okay and I believe they show that that radius that it arcs is 0.75 uh, so let's switch to the screen view where we can take a look at this cam and its cut sheet Now the cam we're looking at occurs in the full catalog a couple of times. They list it under accessories but don't show us much. But then as you look through the rest of the document, of which there are two pages, it does show you that. And there is that radius, 0.75. And, and my argument about the standard cam um, you know, would be simply... You know, if this 1160E is going to be our standard cam... Obsolete cast iron mortise locks, yes. People would know that as a Yale cam or a standard cam, um, along with the 1161. You can see that the dimensional properties are a little shy on what this key switch 1161G is going to be. Regardless, you don't really have to guess as to what cam you're going to need. The manufacturer of the key switch will likely give you a drawing that's going to show you what cam you are wanting to use um, you know what would what would certainly work you know um, is it po is it certainly possible that other cams are going to work on key switches absolutely they are um, but if you have an opportunity to use a cam that is better tailored or better positioned for working on a particular key switch you want to go uh, and obtain that would be my guess because it does work easier and again as I use a key switch and rotate it it seems because of this blunt end of which all standard cams really have rather than this more graceful and angled sort of approach it will make to the head of the switch you're exerting less force through the you know through the key with your hand to get it to operate because you're literally depressing a mechanical switch when you do that so anyway, that's where this shows up. Let's also uh, take a look at the link below this video to the manufacturer's page. That's where we can pull up not only all of the Yale products we sell, of which there are several tens of thousands, 
a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Okay, um, other encyclopedic documents such as the exit device and mortise lock parts manual, cylinders and keying manual are here. A couple of different versions of that, 1980, 1998, and 2016. Don't think much changed. Um, for fun, we have links to several archival documents, late 19th century catalogs. If you wanted to see what Yale was putting out in 1884, well, there's your catalog. It's a, quite an epic download, but nonetheless, that catalog is there. It's a neat walk through the history of Yale. This handbook for architects by he, uh, Henry Town, uh, it was the Yale and Town Manufacturing Company, and Henry Town was the business partner to Linus Yale. Interesting thing about Linus Yale, Linus Yale Jr. Um, his father was a was in, uh, involved in industrial manufacturing. The son, Linus Yale Jr., literally invented the modern pin tumbler system. And while it's no doubt that he was clearly influenced by an Egyptian design from 4,000 years ago, the pin tumbler cylinder that we all likely use on an everyday basis as a result of the patent filing from Linus Yale Jr. And if you were to just do a, a search for Linus Yale Jr., you're going to eventually find not only that patent, uh, but but lots of patents. Uh, all all those you know, you, you'll find you'll find just a tremendous amount of patents from people. Um, you know, and this is not the pin tumbler patent, but you will <laughs> you will eventually find it. It's listed in every single introduction to locksmithing catalog uh, book that I've ever read. Anyway, let's finish up this video on camera. So the name Yale has been synonymous with commercial building uh, hardware for 170 years, uh, absolutely. And their catalog is several hundred pages thick. They're going to have, of course, all the, all the usual suspects, exit devices, door closers, lock sets, a variety of other material. They're under the umbrella of Asa Abloy. Their sister companies would include Corbin, Ruswin, Sargent, Medico uh, in the lock world. Rockwood, McKinney, Adams Wright, Hess, etc., etc., etc. Asa Abloy is a multinational, multi-billion dollar corporation that has their uh, their um, extensive um, experience in the industry into many areas. I find it a benefit um, with some of Yale's sister companies that they are under that umbrella. Because um, they all do a really good job. You know, Yale, Yale does a very good job and they have a very good product and everyone knows the name. Any questions on the 1161G cam for key switches or any other Yale product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.